What's up everybody and welcome to the channel. It's your boy Melo. Hope everyone out there is having a good day. Barbershops are pillars and staples in the black community. I strongly feel like among liquor stores, you'll always find a barbershop in the hood. I think we can all agree that barbers are pretty much black magicians, okay? They're black wizards. The barbershop is a place where you go to just get done up. You go to get transformed. Like a good barber is going to transform you. They're going to transform you. But if you're like me, gay and black, barbershops could be just one hour of pure hell where men are just talking about nothing but all of the cat that they would get. And yes, you are expected to participate as well. For me, the terror sets in when I have to set a new appointment with a barber. I'm always thinking about how crowded is it going to be? How long is the wait going to be? Is everyone going to be looking at me? And... How's just, how's the overall vibe going to be in here? And the worst one yet, can they tell if I'm straight or not? After Terra Phase 1, we move into Terra Phase 2, the straight act, okay? Stay with me. Barbershops are literally nothing but a meat fest, okay? And the main topic is Kitty. Every woman that walks by, every straight barber and customer, they're going to chime in on that cat. And you better have your straight act together. Me personally, I usually like to come up with two to three straight things I would do to a girl before my barber's appointment. They usually range anywhere from just a compliment to sometimes more explicit things. Some barbers have no filter. Full participation is expected, okay? You have to play the part. After Terra Phase 2, we move into Terra Phase 3, our most important part, the execution. All of your mission prep and hard work will be for naught if you do not execute the mission correctly, the straight act. The last three step has three steps in itself, okay? But stay with me. Greeting, how are you greeting your barber? Are you giving him a lip bottom hand shape or are you guys dapping it up and bringing it in? Second step, again, Terra phase two, conversation, okay? Stay with me. Deepen that voice, turn off your grinder notification, clear your search history, and dim your phone brightness. Yes, they look and yes, they read. Okay, remember you're executing the conversation. You have to, your head has to be fully in the game for this to even be executed. Now, third step and sometimes the worst, it's the walk away. Walking away from a barber's chair after a cut could either go one or two ways for a straight or a gay man. You either walk away with your chest held high or with your head tucked. But remember, everyone is watching to see what your haircut looks like to see what you have on, and yes, to see if you're gay or not. Now that I've given you guys my sort of barbershop rule guidebook survival kit, I think that it's only right that I share my barber horror story, right? <laughs> it was about two and a half years ago. I had been going to my um, my old barber for about three, three years, three and a half years, but he started to get lazy. It was my 21st birthday and I literally wanted the best haircut that I've ever got in my life. Like I was old enough to drink. I was planning on going out. I'm like, I need to look and feel good. So I cheated y'all. I cheated on my barber. Pause. If you don't know in the black community, you cannot go to multiple barbers at once. Okay. It just does not work like that. It, it, you tell me, you tell me who came up with that rule and then we will conversate. But this is a definitely unspoken rule in the black community and you just do not go to multiple barbers you pick one and you ride with them until the wheels fall off okay well look by my 21st birthday the wheels have fall off with me and my ex barber however my new barber like he was pretty expensive and i wasn't used to that he was literally double than what my old barber was and so you know i wasn't trying to do all that so i I tried to go back. I went back to my ex barber. I waited like a good month after that haircut, you know, to have all of my hair grow back, you know, so the barber would just think, oh, okay, you know, it's been a minute. Because mind you, I've been going to him every week, literally every week for the past three, three and a half years. Soon as I sat down in that barber chair, y'all. So who cut your hair? I was like, huh? So I had to think quick. I was like, okay, you know, oh, like my cousin's in barbering school and he needed a head to cut. So, you know, like I let him cut me. He was like, no, you didn't. At this point, I'm just panicking. Like, okay, like wh what do I even say to that? You know, and I'm just all up in my head thinking like, oh, sh he then proceeds to tell me that he could tell when someone else cuts my hair because of the lines and the pattern in my hair. And to me, I was just like, like my muffin cap back 
blue was peeled back. Like, what what do you say to that? Like, I didn't even know that was a thing that barbers had different lines and patterns. So I was caught up and yeah, I wasn't escaping this if I wanted to. Long story short, y'all, he charged me for the whole haircut, which he hasn't done for the past three, three and a half years because I've been going to him every week. He gave me a discount. I sat in silence the rest of the cut and I never went back. It's a real thing out here. Like you cannot cheat on your barber and expect for everything to be good. And I had to learn that the hard way. But fast forward, I have literally the best barber ever. Shout out to Don. Don, shout out to you. I've been going to him for about, about three years now. And we literally just have the best conversations. Like it's always a dope vibe. He's taken me out to drinks before, you know, we've had a sesh before all around just, just good, good energy. And I was recently able to maybe two months ago, mind you, I've been going to him for three years. I just recently told him that I was gay and I've never told any of my barbers I was gay because why would I, you know, my experience personally has not always been the best and the most positive. He was like, I know. And so, of course, we laughed off that. It was, you know, complete and, and instant acceptance. Nothing was different. Nothing was weird. It's truly just an experience and a relationship that I've never had with the barber. The wheels are definitely still on and tight, and I'm rocking with them things, so they fall off and even after, okay? Because when I tell you, y'all don't get it. This man performs surgery on me, okay? Shout out to Don. If you guys are ever in SAC, hit him up. Don the Barber on Instagram. I promise y'all, y'all won't be disappointed. Like, y'all won't. Y'all won't. So now, just to review. The gay black barber experience has three phases. Phase one, mission prep. Phase two, the straight act. And phase three, the most important phase, is the execution. Remember, last phase has three steps in itself, but it's crucial to follow these. It's a mess. But if you do it right, you'll survive it. Okay, y'all. Well, now that I've talked y'all heads off, let me know what you guys think. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video or thumbs down if you didn't, as that's okay as well. There's always room for improvement over here. Whether you gave the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, please leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of the story or just let me know your barber horror experience. I know I'm not the only one out there who has had a probably not so good experience at the barbershop. And you already know this, but please subscribe as I'm up and coming and it would greatly support me. All right, y'all. Y'all stay safe out there and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for tuning into the video and I hope y'all have a good one. Y'all already know I'm out of here. Peace.